What's up everybody? It's the Fighting Therapist here and for today's video I got you a great ab progression for you guys to start at home to build that ab strength up and get those abs popping. Before we start the video, don't forget to please hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and give this video a like. The more like I get, the more people get to see the video, the more I get to help people, and then the more videos I get to make, and so on and so forth. So, this is going to be a two-part series. So, when we're talking about the core, there's two things that we want to consider here. There's the abs, rectus abdominis, and then there's the core. Everyone talks about both, and they put them in the same category, yet, what we're going to talk about in today's video is just going to be one part of the abs and core and in the second part I'm going to talk about the other one. So when we're talking about videos of abs and you guys want your abs popping, for that particular muscle we're talking about the rectus abdominis, we're also talking about the internal and external obliques, especially when body fat percentages do go down, these are the muscles that we're trying to hit. Now when it comes to the rectus abdominis, those are the ab muscles that are going to be popping out and those are the ones that you can actually grow. So if you see those people that have abs that are popping up a little more, they're a little thicker on the musculature, it does play two parts on genetics but then also plays a part on how much are you training your abs so that we can actually grow that muscle. So in this video, I give you guys a very easy progression of pretty much what you can do. You can take the video that's and all the exercises that I have in the video and you guys can pick where your starting point is. So for some people, it's hard to do a sit-up, but for others, it's hard to do a V-up, right? So you're going to want to choose where you are and then from there, you just continue the progression. Just because, just in my last video when I talked about work capacity, which I'm going to plug up here, you guys should go watch that. Work capacity is pretty much developing, learning how to be able to do more and more and more. And that comes with strength too. When you're talking about strength on a squat, we're teaching our body how to do more and more and more and more, to get stronger and stronger and stronger. So just like with our abs, when we're doing an ab crunch, a lot of the times that's hard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize eccentric and concentric and isometric holds. And we're gonna play with those to allow you guys to do the full movement. So if your goal is to do a sit up and you can't, well, with this first exercise, as you can see, we're doing an eccentric sit up pretty much. So we're gonna start up in the easier position and we're gonna go down slowly since most of the time, the harder thing to do here is to crunch up, right? That's the hardest part. So we're gonna eccentrically go down. That's an easy progression that you can do. The next one is if you wanna do a core get up, which is pretty much a sit up, but a long leg sit up. We usually like to use this in physio, well, athletic therapy, physiotherapy, as a test to see how strong your core is. So if we're trying to come up, a lot of the time that's hard, especially to do it with your leg straight. And a great strength and condition exercise that we like to do is a long sit up with a plate over our head and it's called a core get up. So you're going in that hamstring stretch position and we're coming up with the weight over our head and we're coming back down. So doing the same thing, we're eccentrically coming down. If you're doing the eccentric movement, it'll probably take you around two to three seconds to complete the whole exercise of going downwards. And you're just gonna repeat that same movement for two sets of six, two sets of eight, two sets of 10, and then you're gonna add another set and go three sets of six, three sets of eight, three sets of 10. And that's the same progression I want you guys to do throughout all the exercises that I'm gonna give you today. Once you can do those two, now you can pretty much start trying to do a sit up. So you're gonna keep your legs a little bit more further apart. If you do need more help, you guys can put something on your feet in the video, I am not. And you're just gonna come up and do a normal sit up. We're keeping the core tight. We're not trying to shove our head down and we're using our core to come up. Next exercise for the people that are having trouble doing leg raises. So to make it a little easier, we're gonna go in a dead bug, dead bug type of position. We're gonna keep our arms out just like this, which is really gonna allow us to have the ability to keep our scapulas down and repress, uh, depressed activate our core, we're gonna bend one knee to make it even easier, and we're just gonna lift our leg up and down, one leg at a time. Now, when that's easy, we're gonna straighten both our legs, our hands are still gonna keep straight so we're able to get that core contraction, and we're gonna lift one leg at a time and then another leg at a time. Pretty much just look like a zombie here, walking straight forward. Once that becomes easy, the next exercise is gonna to try to do the other part of it. So we're gonna eccentrically use that exercise. We're gonna put our hands behind our back, Keep that core nice and tight. 
We're gonna bend our knees, we're gonna bring our knees up, and we're slowly gonna eccentrically bring them down. Now through time, as this exercise gets easier and easier, you're gonna slowly wanna to start to straighten out your legs, right? And that's slowly gonna let you do the eccentric version of the leg raise. So as you can see in the next exercise, that's what I'm doing. I'm bending my knees in, I'm bringing my knees up, and then I'm slowly bringing them down. Then once all that's finished, you, pr you pretty much progress, and now you can start doing a simple leg raise. Next, the V-up, known as one of the hardest exercises, and it is, it's a very demanding exercise that involves isometric holding when you're coming at the top. You need to have a nice core engagement. You need your legs to be nice and straight. You need your arms to be up, and a lot of the times we start to add weight at the top and the exercise becomes easier. It's a great exercise and I feel a lot of people should be utilizing the V-Up as one of their exercises through a nice workout plan that they're designing themselves. So, simple one here to start is gonna be a V-Up tuck. So instead of coming up, we're gonna bring and bend the knees inwards. We're gonna keep our hands nice and low, just across, and we're gonna tuck in, hold two seconds, come back. So now we're utilizing isometric, right? Because at the V, we need to be able to hold that position. So we want to make sure that we're getting that contraction when our knees and hands are coming together. Once that becomes a little easier, you're going to do alternating hand to toe touch. So you're going to lay nice down and flat. You're going to stick your leg out, opposite hand, opposite arm, and you're going to make them touch. Now, if leg straight is too hard for you, you can bend it slightly, make your hand touch your knee, and then slowly progress to making your hand touch your leg. And then once that becomes easy, you're gonna do them both on each side, and now you're up for the via. Now again, if leg straight is too hard, you can do it with your knees up and your hands coming up, and then gradually uh, straighten out your legs slowly and slowly. Now another progression that I saw, that I saw, that I've given a client this is you would attach a rope, let's say right here, that's gonna be coming down onto your feet. It's gonna hook, right? So a lot of those weights that you have handles you could hook on your dorm frame, they come with ankle weights. So you could put both, well ankle, ankle attachments should I say. You're gonna put those on your ankle and that tension that's gonna be on your leg is gonna help lift the legs up as you're coming up. Now, all the exercises in today's video are really simple. Of course, I'm not gonna argue with any other strength and conditioning coach or any other trainer out there that there's tons of exercises that maybe I missed a couple progressions. I didn't, I chose these exercises specifically because the fundamentals of just being able to do a leg raise, to be able to do a sit up and to be able to do a V up are pretty much the gold standards for anything else that you want. If you wanna be able to do a hanging knee raise, it's the same thing as just being able to do the leg raise. We need to break down each of those movements, make it as simple as possible, progress your strength and your work capacity so you're able to do more, you're able to get your core stronger and stronger, you're able to develop the muscle, and then we could start challenging it in a multitude of exercises. So this is why for this video, I picked those specific exercises in a nice progression to make it as simple as possible. But the base of this whole video is just to tell you guys to gradually start working. No matter where you are, what level you are, you guys can pretty much start anywhere across the board of exercises that I gave you. If you're here, you start here. If you're at the beginning, start at the beginning. Now you're stuck at home, you have the time to work on yourself and to get stronger and stronger so that when we're back in the gym, when we're back to training, you're gonna see vast improvements when you're gonna be back to the weights. Now lastly, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please, if you stay till the end, give it another like. If you haven't, give it another subscribe. Hit that notification bell, all right? I'm gonna be coming out with part two in the next video, so stay tuned for that one. And that's gonna be the three best exercises you guys can do for core stability. And then I'm gonna add a few in there that I've done in the past and that I still do today and I think should be implemented into a full ab and core workout program. Whether you're designing your own or a coach is giving you one, these exercises should be together in the whole plan itself. So that's it, it's your boy, that's it Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee, Peace, guys.